Okay, this particular furnace is an Armstrong SX80. Now, I have had some problems with the furnace firing up and then immediately turning off. So, first thing I thought was take and was told obviously take the thermostat igniter off and clean it when i took it off it was really clean i was like oh my gosh which would be right back here and then this furnace right here it's going to be in different parts and different furnaces but there's also if you sand that and it's still not working. And I mean, you got to sand it with some, like, something. Real. I mean, like, people have used $5 bills. People use different kinds of stuff to clean that. But in this situation, I put it back on, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's not what it was. So then you got to go through and check everything. Now, there's a rubber hose. Now, this controls temp temperature and and uh, tells you know what temperature you're you're running at, and this gets melted. It's a valve that goes from the fan motor, and it comes down into this temperature switch, which is all relayed into it telling this igniter how to turn off and on also so i see a lot of videos saying if your furnace is firing and then turn it off you got to check your flame igniter um, which has a temperature gauge on it too and that can be your problem but if that's not your problem then make sure you always check the ends of this rubber this is rubber when it gets hot in here this rubber starts to melt the tip of this was just cracked you could barely see it's just the tiniest little crack just snipped it off with some pliers put it back on anything rubber like this i don't like how this is wrapped around here honestly but you know i mean that's just gonna have to be that way i guess um but anything rubber like that in your furnace and you're having these problems and you think it's your thermostat igniter and it doesn't work look at the end of these rubber tubes um, this one um, looks fine on the other end because it gets a hell of a lot hotter up here so these tend to melt and that can keep keep your furnace from turning off and on so when you're trying to um, get through this when you're not really knowing exactly what you're doing and you're trying to troubleshoot and you watch some YouTube videos or whatever you do, and, and you've cleaned your um, igniter, and that doesn't do the trick. Check this. Check these um, rubber tubes. Now they're going to be different on every furnace, but um, they're usually all the same. And then um, anything that might be a piece that's corrosion or look at all your wires and make sure they all have good connection like anywhere like in here just check every little wire and you might you know if you if you're good at soldering you might be able to um do a temporary fix until you get a new switch or whatever you may need i mean you got to go back all the way back in here check every little thing it turned out at the very end after checking everything out, it was just right here. That rubber hose that plugs in right there, right there, had an itsy bitsy crack. I mean, I couldn't even believe a crack like that small would do it, but it does. So um, I just wanted to throw this video in because that should be the first thing you should check before you even go into seeing if it's your flame your flame igniter because I mean you can tear into all this and then all of a sudden it's just the simplest thing with a pair of, pair of 
snippers snip the end off and plug it right back in i mean it literally comes off like this just pulls right off and goes right back on this valve and pushes on and you're good just cut a little piece off the end and you're good to go and now this furnace is run 100 percent perfect it's got a new motor in it these are all clean i cleaned all these out anyhow but None of it mattered. It's got a new control board. I mean, this thing's going to be rolling for quite some time. So, I mean, there's a lot of simple things that you can miss. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope this helps somebody. Because before you go tearing into all this, and tearing all, taking, I mean, this only takes like 15 minutes if you know you're done, if you're done with all that. So, you know, it's a good thing to do um, anyhow every year. But if you don't know what you're doing, um, watch a YouTube video on that it'll show you but always check these rubber hoses or anything like that for deterioration or cracks and those are easy to, easy and cheap to fix before you have a furnace guy come out and have to pay a bunch of money which I'm lucky because I got a friend of mine who's does furnace stuff and and I'm blessed but for the rest of you um, that don't know anything about furnaces or don't learn like I'm learning slowly. I hope this helps you.